Hi everybody, very welcome to Ventour, yet another video podcast. As always, I hope you're doing absolutely fantastic. Wake, welcome to my beautiful hotel room here in Thailand, where I've been doing this special podcast for you, because there's been a lot of turmoil in the press, especially in the UK, regarding social media in the cockpit. So, on today's podcast, I want to talk about that. Is what they've been showing dangerous? And how should you be thinking about social media when it comes to you and your posting? Stay tuned. Right guys, so social media in the cockpit. This has been a an area that I've been wanting to talk about for quite a long while, but it's become even more um, important now since the last couple of days there's been a lot of newspaper articles in the UK that has been showing behavior of pilots in different airlines uh, which has been put into question by the newspapers. Okay, so first of all um, I need you to think about a few times. If you are in this business already or if you're on your way into the business you probably are following a lot of influencers like myself and other youtubers or Instagram profiles out there okay now what you have to understand is that the way that we portray ourselves and the way that do you eventually will portray yourself uh, will also represent not only yourself but your colleagues, your airline, your profession as a whole. This is very similar to the video that I did regarding uniforms and the way that you have to think about how to use your uniform in public because the people who are going to see your posts are going to be not only your colleagues or your friends but it's going to be a lot of people who are looking at uh, aviation content because they might be nervous flyers or afraid of flying and it might indeed be your future boss that sees this okay so that's how you should be thinking before you post any kind of picture in any kind of social media environment now to answer the question uh, in the beginning of the video is what these pilots have been doing is it dangerous um, the answer to that question is no I wouldn't think so now I wasn't in the cockpit I couldn't see during which phases of flight that these pilots took these pictures but uh, I don't think any pilot or any sound friend of mine will be playing around with a camera during a phase of flight where they should be focusing on something else now having said that pilots are people just like everyone else Okay. And when the autopilot is engaged and they're up at cruise and they're not doing anything, uh, I think most of us have been taking pictures at some point, um, you know, maybe of a beautiful sun, sunrise or a sunset or something like that. But here comes the distinction. Okay. Once again, before you post anything on social media, you have to A, check and think about what your employer's policy regarding social media is. I would say about 90% of all airlines out there has an absolute no, as in zero policy of posting pictures from inside of the flight deck in flight. Okay? That is because of exactly what happened last week in the UK. Because they cannot control what is coming out. So instead of letting people use their common sense, which obviously there can be some lack of, they just say no. All right. Then there are some employers that are a little bit more lenient. Okay, Employers that say that before you post anything on social media anywhere, um, think about how it's portraying yourself and the company. Okay, Because you can get yourself into some real legal problems if you disrepresent your airline in, um, in the social media environment as an employee. Okay. And this is probably what has happened to these guys. Now, I'm not going to go into which airlines are being involved or anything, but um, if you've been reading these newspapers, you've seen that the airlines have gone out and they have said that the safety was not compromised, but there has been an investigation started into the employee. And that probably has not to do with safety, more to do with you know, the PR picture of the airline. Because if you think about it, picture yourself as an owner of a restaurant. Okay, picture yourself as an owner of a restaurant. Now, your restaurant is giving out fine cuisine to its, to its um, guests. Okay, beautiful meals are coming out of the kitchen. The guests have a slight idea how these meals are being made, but they can't really see how it's being made because it's done in the kitchen and they have no access to it. Now, 
Now picture that a new technology comes out which enables the chefs to show what they're doing inside of the kitchen to the, the uh, guests that are outside waiting for the meals. Now, if you're a guest and you go into this restaurant and you flick on your mobile device and you can see what's going on in the kitchen, as long as what you're seeing is professionals, clean professionals doing amazing skilled things to get their meals out to their tables, you can imagine that this is actually a strength. This is something that's going to pull the guests into this restaurant, right? But now, if you turn that around and instead of the, um, the guests seeing professionals working inside, they see people throwing the food between each other, you know, playing around with it, maybe poking their nose. Now think of what's going to happen. How many guests are going to get to that restaurant? And this is exactly what the airlines are afraid of when it comes to social media. And this is what happened last week. Okay. So, when it comes to posting things on social media, you have to think of A, what policy does your airline have? Okay. You have not gone through all of this training, done all of those exams, worked your butt off to get your first airline job, to be thrown out because you posted a picture on Instagram. You really do not want that to happen. So check what the policy is for posting on social media. If there is a little bit more relaxed policy, then think. Before you post, think that on the other side of that screen there's going to be a nervous flyer or someone who's really afraid of flying or your employer. And before you hit send on that picture, think what are they going to say? Well, how are they going to react to the po picture that you've just posted? If you do that, you are almost 100% sure that you're not going to cause any trouble. Okay, now, influencers like myself, and I can't speak for anyone else, but I'm guessing most would agree with me when I'm saying that we want to keep this magic window to the cockpit open. We want to make sure that we can show you guys as much as possible about what our job is, how we deal with things, what we think, how our procedures are, everything like this. But for every one of these Snapchat pictures with someone playing with a rabbit or putting a noose uh, up in the cockpit, for every one of those, that window becomes darker and smaller. Okay? And that goes for everyone. So, you would have noticed, and this is the reason why even though I'm getting tons and tons of requests, so please show us how you do an actual takeoff and a landing and how you do procedures in flight. This is why I do not do that. Because I am actually in contact with my employer and any time that I'm about to post something that could be a little bit questionable, I check that with my airline before I post it. Okay? And I haven't even gone into asking about doing in-flight photo because it is just not allowed. We should be focusing on flying when we're flying. Okay, During sterile phases of flight, I do not need to think about a, a camera being pointed at me. I need to think about flying. All right. So this is why you are unlikely to see anything of that on my channel. And if you ever see something like that, it means that I've gotten a specific approval for that flight to, to film that particular thing. Okay, And this is how you need to think about it as well. So that's it guys that's all I had about uh, about social media um, if you have any questions about this or if you want to continue to discuss social media um, in the cockpit you can go into the mentor aviation app if you haven't got it already it's completely free just download it go into the chat and you can chat with me and other enthusiasts as well about this uh, this matter I hope you're doing absolutely fantastic and take care of yourself. I am going to take my family out tomorrow. We're, um, we're going snorkeling and fishing. It's beautiful here in Thailand, absolutely beautiful. If you haven't been here, you should really give, give it a try. Have a fantastic day, guys, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.